Whoa. Alfred Hitchcock famously called film little pieces of time. I'm but back in class. As he what the hell? Us. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory and our Have sorrow. Have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This color, might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this captured is the messed human up. condition in black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and go, don't Victoria. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? What's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares? Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. Oh, that's too creepy. That's... me? Are you kidding? This is definitely not for reals. Not yet, you bastard. Holy shit. Look at all these dead birds. Uh, this can't be real. I'm sorry, Kate. That's it? Three times is clearly not the charm. I don't care if this is a dream or a nightmare. I'm taking this picture. Rachel didn't deserve any of this. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. It's about time somebody finally killed Chloe. Think of how often that bitch almost got me killed. It's like you're doing both of us an awesome favor. Chloe can never appreciate you the way I will. Maxine. And yes, I insist on calling you Maxine. Forever. can't be real. I don't believe it. Hey, Kate. Max, how could you let me jump off a roof? You were the only person I trusted here. But you never really listened to me. Now I'm never going to heaven. Instead, you've stuck me in hell. Alone forever. No! Kate, I, I was only trying to save you.
This one is for Samuel. Don't try to hide, Max! Get over here! Let me capture you! Jefferson is coming after me again. Max! No. You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. What happened to your spark, Max? I thought I could be your professor for life. Good evening, Blackwell. This is Principal Well, and I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. Attention! I regret to announce that one of your fellow classmates, Maxine Caulfield... Max, where are you? Max, come out to play. Come out to play, eh? How can I tell Max? Hey, babe, babe. Who bitch. wants to go, eh? Go, eh? Go, eh, babe, babe. Do you have a scarf I can borrow, Max? Get in the car! Miss Price said just show up and blunt. Oh shit, Warren. That is too weird. Nah, Fucking I scary. You just in case I need evidence. From your white knight. Give it up! What's up with you and that blue-haired loser? The squirrels hate you. And they're hungry. Do you have a scarf I can borrow, Max? The, only the squirrels way you'll ever 
lives. You just use your power to cheat at life and cheat your friends out of life. I'll sick David Madsen on their ass. Hey, Max. Pretty fucking ironic that I ended up being right about everything and you end up destroying the town. Hey, Max. Please, come here. So I can speed you up! Bony ass over you. I'm gonna cut you open, freak. I'm gonna cut you open, freak. Might be hell. Max. Max. I want to share my gift with you. Get your bony ass over here. I'm going to cut you open, freak. Ass over here. I know. I'm going to cut you open, freak. Well, these ones aren't too hard to find. Rachel Amber. Just like her last name, I can finally see right through her skin. Oh, when did I get bad bottle karma? Flesh. Max, sit down. You're taking a time out, no matter what. If this is my nightmare, let me have one sanctuary. Of course, this is where Chloe and Rachel used to hide from the world. But I can't hide for long. Whatever reality I'm in feels like a bad dream. Am I just not learning my lesson? Maybe your real lesson is to get out of this place. Just don't be afraid, Max. Let them be afraid of you. Drugs? You are at the top of my shit list now, Max. Is there one more left? Please let that be the last one. Max, me and Rachel are floating down here. I need proof that bottles were out to get me, just in case. Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am, when your mom's away. I'll let her know that.
Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two wins. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to feast upon. You are ridiculous. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Aha! You can't hide from me forever! Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! 